I am here at Lake McDonald today and I'm going to teach you guys how to use bear spray. Um, before we get started, I am actually going to spray, not this one, but I do have a training canister we're going to use. Um, but before we get going, I just wanted to discuss a few um, misconceptions about bear spray. I work at the airlines, so every summer I see people come in uh, well-intentioned but a little bit confused. First and foremost, you cannot fly with bear spray. So bear spray, plane, not in your checked bag, not in your carry-on bag. You cannot fly with it, so don't bring it. Um, the second thing that I hear people say is um, some people think it's like mosquito repellent. You use it on yourself or your clothes. You do not use it on yourself. You will regret that. This is for use on the bear only. Okay, so once you rent your bear spray or buy it, you do want to look on the can. It does have an expiration date, so make sure that it's not passed, and it shouldn't be good for more than four years. Um, also, you should probably, they recommend carrying two, even if you're hiking alone, one in the bottom of your pack and then one on your person, so that if you meet a bear on your way out, you have something to protect yourself on your hike back. If you're traveling or hiking with more than one person in your party, you definitely want two. Um, you don't want to be in a situation where the person in front that has a bear spray has been attacked, they can't get to it, and you can't help them. So definitely at least two people should have a bear spray in hand. Um, also when you are walking, um, bear spray is a great line of defense, but honestly talking and singing is your best bet to make sure you don't encounter an angry bear. Um, if you're talking, if you're singing, they're going to hear you coming, they're going to get out of the way, they're not going to feel threatened by you. Um, so. I think that about covers it, so let's get into how we use this. Okay, so when you're looking to buy, I've uh, done a little bit re of research, and they say Counter Assault and Frontiersman are two of the best brands that you can buy, um, just based on potency, uh, spray distance, and the size. So um, this one is just my training, and this is actually the one we have. Counter Assault is nice because it comes with this which you can slide this into a belt buckle to carry on your hip um, if you'd prefer to do that. Otherwise, some people like to put it in their backpack, but I don't think that's actually the best place. Um, I guess it depends on your backpack, but if there's a bear there, I guess I can reach, but that's not the most comfortable. Um, so, but a front pocket or your hip is actually the best place. Okay, so um, they do come with a safety clip and you want to be sure to leave that on until you see a bear. Um, we were hiking once, my husband thought that he um, might see a bear, so he took that off. And the problem is when you're hiking and he was actually on a river, he slipped, fell forward and actually sprayed the bear spray. Um, it went down the river to us ladies. We started coughing, hacking. He came running. He grabbed a bunch of mud and rubbed it all over his face. That stuff is potent and you do not want to accidentally spray it. And it's, I mean, it's, it took a second, not even to pull that off. So leave that on there until you see the bear. And then um, once you do see a bear, if you've surprised him, just slowly step back, talk to the bear. Don't look him in the eye, just step back. Like, hi bear, nice bear, good day for a walk. <laughs> but if he starts charging, that's when you're going to want to actually take your bear spray out and spray. Um, they say when they're about 30 feet away, which for you, um, that for you people that are great with spatial reasoning, that works. But um, I had to look up what 30 feet is. The distance of one of those big red London buses since I like traveling. That is an easy one for me to remember. Um, so once they're that far away, you wanna take your can of spray. You aim it at the ground, not up, about 15 feet in front of you, so half that distance of the bus. And uh, hold it steady, and you're just gonna do short bursts, so like. And the wind's going that way, so they say start low and zigzag up, unless you already know where the wind is. And that's going to create a nice fog barrier that's going to deter that bear and give you time to get away. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them below. I am happy to answer that. Um, it's just great to be prepared, whether you're going to Glacier National Park or Yellowstone or wherever you're heading this summer. Um, also, I forgot to mention another thing that I've seen. When you buy it, <laughs> 
take it out of the packaging. You don't have time when you see a bear to remove that packaging. Um, just be ready, be prepared, and have fun camping. See you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,